Hey, it's John from EAW, and I wanted to introduce you guys, if you haven't seen it, to our flagship, Anna. Anna is an adaptive product, and by adaptive I mean that if you'll notice, as he's painting down it, it's a line array, but it hangs straight. Why does it hang straight? It has to be able to bend, doesn't it, to get to the front row? No, it doesn't. Uh, what we've done inside here is each of these boxes has 14 amplifiers and drivers that are each individually controlled, each with its own custom FIR filter, to basically say I can take each one of those at a resolution of one inch to be able to steer sound straight up or straight down based on the geometry I give it for the room. So we will draw it in 3D, place this at the height it needs to be at, and then we're going to basically have the software calculate the virtual J that it takes to pull off the same thing a real J would do. But what we've done that's pretty cool is that we've obeyed all the original math of line array physics. No driver is any more than a quarter wavelength against the frequency that it's going to do. So it, everything is matched, okay? Um, I'm going to come in here and show this on, on this. So this is our HF section. HF section, uh, this is actually the HF section of her bigger sister, Anya. Uh, so there's a few more drivers in this one than that one. But basically, HF, HF, as we go down through here, right? Each one of these guys is on a one inch center to the other, which is, is line array math to get it as tightly spaced as it can be. Giving us an exit of everything that's one inch. Every one of these cells, HF wise, is controllable by an individual DSP channel. So I can manipulate this into any shape of, of uh, coverage I need to, right? The next thing it has is Anya has three mid-range drivers. This one's the actual driver here. Uh, this is a take apart with showing the cover off and then here's just showing you the phase plug. Uh, that basically these are individually controlled so I can also steer mid-range. And if we had a bigger box, uh, you can see here our LF is all the way spaced out here and those are individually controlled. So because I have su such a density of drivers, I can actually accomplish with say four boxes of this what a traditional line array might take eight to do SPL wise into the room. And because I can digitally steer it to the shape of the room I need, A, it flies faster, B, it's technically less weight from against many other comparable systems, and C, because of the density of drivers, like I said, I can get the same SPL with a shorter stack, meaning we could end up, if, uh, if we had our video screen here and we had a sight line issue with a traditional line array, I could put my line array up the, with the ANA system above it, and it really doesn't matter what the trim height is because it's gonna digitally steer to where it needs to. So that's kind of a real brief overview of it. You can see more on our website at eaw.com, and that's it for today.